We got our van rack in. This is, what's it called? I'll turn this. Telescopic van bar carrier. Hi everybody. I wanted to share my Highland ladder rack I got from made van. by a company called Highland. And uh, it is a ladder rack that goes, this is what I want it for. It's gonna go on top of my van. And uh, instead of holding a ladder, it's going to hold a solar panel. So, what you get, I want to show you, you what get you get with the kit. Four or two outer tubes, two inner tubes. The inner slides into the outer. Um, so basically you have one crossbar there. Same thing, inner into the outer. Then you have your two, two crossbars. You can slide them to adjust for the width of your vehicle roof. Uh, you get four clamps, you get four staunch ohms, you get two two inch hex head bolts. That's to uh, put in, once you get it all mounted, there's a little hole here, you drill all the way through, put this through, put a lock nut on, and it cinches the pole to keep it from twisting. You get four one and a half inch hex head bolts. You get eight carriage bolts. Eight uh, one inch carriage bolts. And you get 16 three quarter inch carriage bolts. And then you have a bunch of these, uh, where is it? You have 30 lock nuts. And then you have 12 flat washers. Start with this down chone. You take, uh, you have your crossbars here. Four of the three quarter inch, I keep forgetting how long these are. Four of the three quarter inch. And you're gonna take four lock nuts. These have a sticker on them, a Highland sticker. And the clamp, you want that facing out, away from your, your pole. So, Basically, your poles here have the little sticker highland so you can read it from the outside. And the little, uh, the little nipple that cinches down your clamp to the rain gutter. Have that facing outward towards you when you bolt it on. So let's get these bolted. So this is what it's going to look like. Back here, the lock nuts go on the back side towards the poles. The smooth round part goes on the outside towards the sticker and the little nipple part. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our wrench and we're going to tighten these down. Should look like this on your outer tube and your inner tube. They slide together. Basically that will be the crossbar for your ladder rack. And the sink, let me get it right there. That's how it'll look when it's on your van. And then these uh, little clamps will clamp it to the rain gutter. So now that we're all finished bolting these on, go ahead and take these back, take those, uh, the inner tube and outer tube apart. And what I'd like to do, on the instructions it says to take these out to the van together and then put this on your rain gutter and do the, bolt this up outside. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you see these uh, bolt holes, they have a lot of room and a lot of play in them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and loosely put these together with the bolts. I'm not going to tighten the bolts down. And then I'll take the whole thing out and set it on the roof of my van and adjust the width and get it setting in the rain gutter and then tighten everything down. And I do this because it's easier just to have all the bolts and nuts and washers on the workbench instead of trying to uh, have all that stuff outside up on a ladder. So let's get this loosely bolted here. This is where your, what are these? Uh, your eight one inch carrier bolts, carriage bolts are coming in. So you're gonna need a carriage bolt, a lock, locking nut, and a washer. 
So all we're going to do is uh, remember the stickers right there. It's just going to go like this. It's going to sit on there just like that and stick your carriage bolt through the bolt hole and put the washer on the back and the nut on the back and, and uh, just finger tighten those and on all eight, eight slots, so on all your tubes. So let's get this on. So I'm going to take the carriage bolt, going to stick it through here, here. Now I'm going to take the washer, put the washer on the back, the lock nut on the back, just finger tighten. Get another one, put it across from it in the other opening, washer on the back. Lock nut on the back. And go as far as you can, finger tight. Okay, so what you're going to have is it's going to look like that. It's just going to be setting on there loosely. But this gives me a good chance to show you this is the part that's going to clamp up against the ring gutter. And you're going to have your... Uh, this one and a half inch bolt going through here. So once you get it in the ring gutter, you're going to cinch this up and it's just going to squeeze it onto the ring gutter and hold it there by compression. So, in fact, that one and a half inch uh, hex head bolt, we can go ahead and put that on there and I believe that one, does that one get a washer? Yep. So your one and a half inch hex head washer on the underside lock nut on the underside and just go to finger tight and we'll tighten all these down once it's on the roof of the vehicle so basically that's what it should look like you have your two uh carriage bolts with the washer and the lock nut then you have your uh, inch and a half hex head bolt with a washer and a lock nut and it's nice and loose so we can set it on inside the ring gutter and cinch it down. So let's go ahead and get them on all the other three of them. Let's get them mounted. Okay, we have them all loosely mounted. All have left is the two the two two inch hex head bolts and two locking nuts and those are for your those are going to be your setting bolts so basically this take your big outer tube and put the little inner tube in it and Take it out to your vehicle, set it on there and get the width adjusted. Set these in your rain gutters and cinch it down outside. Cinch down all your bolts, get them nice and tight. And once you get them nice and tight, you're going to see, see if it'll show up here. Right there is a little uh, uh, pre-drilled hole in the big outer tube. So once everything's cinched up there, then Go ahead and drill all the way through that. Put your drill bit in that hole, drill all the way through. Then you're going to have a nice hole going through the whole thing. Run your two inch bolt through it. Put a lock nut on the back, cinch it down. And that will keep your, your uh, ladder rack from spinning. You'll have a nice secure ladder rack. I'm going to get my ladder and everything I need to go out and put this on the van. I just have that loosely setting up there right now. Nothing's been tightened down. So, I will show you. It's right here. That narrow piece sets in the rain gutter. The bracket that's kind of a clamp looking thing, that goes up underneath. And then once I get my measurements, I'll just tighten all this down and it'll compress against there 
and it'll be a nice solid wrap. You get a helper, that's my son Josh. And then I got a double bonus as my daughter Annie came out and they're helping me. So they're doing the ladder work, thank God. And uh, getting the rack tightened down. So they're working on the front crossbar and then we're gonna do the back crossbar. Okay, here's the second rack, the back end. They're kind of close because the panel's going up there. That cool? Cool. All right, there is the finished roof rack. And I have this setting close together because my solar panel is going to mount on it. Give this a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. You guys have any questions or anything, any comments, put them down in the comments below. I would appreciate it. I'm also an Amazon affiliate. So I will put the link to this rack down in the bottom of the description. If you click on the link, it'll take you right there. And uh, there's no extra charge. There's nothing added on. So if you buy it, I just get commission off of the sale. And that's it. Thank you very much. Peace to all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.